welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name's Carly. I work at a boutique salon called Bounce in Windsor, and we specialize in curls. So I'm gonna be walking you through my routine and the products that I use. Um, this is what I do typically every three to four days. That's how often I will restyle my hair. Okay, so let's get started. So since water is the most important thing for our hair, I'm just um, getting it soaking wet before I start applying my cleanser. So I'm using the Lopu Original. It has a mild lather to it. All Diva Curl products are sulfate, paraben, and silicone free. And this cleanser has an essential moisture to it and it smells like starfruit and mango. So with the One Condition Original, I'm just going to apply it to the mids and the ends and I'm going to squish my condition. That way it'll penetrate into the cuticle. You always want to detangle your hair at this stage with whatever tool works best for you. I switch between a comb and a wet brush. Then I go through with my frizz free volumizing foam and I transfer it onto my hands like this. That way it keeps its volume power without liquefying it. And then I just flip it over and pat it on my roots and squish it into my ends. So this is my favorite gel because it smells like oranges. It's the highest hold gel that has vitamin C in it which will help strengthen your hair especially if it's chemically treated. And it has honey in it which will give you a long hold throughout the week. And then I just seal everything in with Set It Free which is a moisture lock and it smells like Skittles. When you're ready to dry, you want to use a microfiber towel because it's nice and soft. Uh, you don't want to use a terry cloth towel because those have little knots on them which can create frizz. So you just flip over and get that excess water out. And then if you're really in a rush, the hairspray can also help your hair dry quicker too. And then I just diffuse with this green cloth. So this is the final result. Um, Diva gels are not crunchy, so I use the highest hold gel in my hair. Now typically if you diffuse, the diffuser will break the cast that the gel makes. The cast that the gel makes, it does harden. If you're just air drying or if you're under like a huge hood dryer, um, it does harden. But when you are dry, you want to just scrunch it out. So they call that scrunch the crunch. And then that way it'll soften. But if you diffuse, the diffuser will break it for you anyways. So thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, comment down below what kind of videos you'd like to see next. And also I'm going to link my pages in my hair page. So you guys can go give that a follow. Also, you can message me on there too if you have any curly hair questions or just hair questions in general. Thanks for watching.